Hey everybody, Duxon here, and uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, now that we're back on, uh, we're going to be basically putting a lot of movies out there for you guys for Switch War, especially now that there's so much news. Uh, today, basically, we're going to be talking about uh, Shadow of Revan, which is the expansion for Star Wars The Old Republic, which was announced. And obviously, we have to start by talking about the announcement of the announcement, which was really, really poor uh, decision-making by EA and... Uh, and uh, Bioware and the, the really the big thing there is that it technically it should be the 12 times class XP buff which we'll talk about later that should be the thing that delayed the announcement and I think no one understands why they had to do that it just really ticked off everybody in the community especially with like other MMOs not talking about WoW at all who are ramping up their uh, their expansion like really hard and it really looks pretty good on their cinematic side anyway and I've heard a lot of good things about it but anyways the thing is we were not getting anything for Star Wars and people were starting to be like are we getting something what's going on like what's the delay about and all that and then now they're telling us that we're getting this okay so let's 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 get to basically down to the skinny of this is you're, you're basically if you pre-order and you're you're su subbing before I believe it's the 2nd of November you actually get the 12 time class XP buff the thing is it starts immediately as soon as you do both of those things pre-order and sub automatically you get 12 time class XP buff until December 1st so there's a lot of time where you can have that buff and like I said we've I've only been using it for a few days and already got three guys that I got from level 10 on all the way up to 55 in just a few days it takes about nine to ten hours uh, of play to get there it really is not hard at all but anyways so you get that which is amazing on its own like if i was a guy that had a few characters and i was never thinking about doing all that uh, i wanted to do the class quest but i wasn't able to get through all the questing and all the grind this is amazing like this is super awesome for the game and that way so i'm happy for that for me I'm, I'm not happy a little bit because i did it the hard way and then it sucks to see everybody get it like this like in two seconds it just feels like i got robbed a little bit but it's okay i mean again as long as it makes people having more alts that they can play with and it promotes the game it's overall it's never going to be a bad thing so not bad and there there's talks that they might try to actually add it into the uh, legacy so every time you actually level a 55 you get a three hour buff and then obviously you would have to do level 455s which is nothing because again i just did three in about three days so and then you know you can actually uh, get the full 12 hour buff eventually and then just every time you do uh your uh your, ca your, your character it takes you no time to get it up there so again there's good things and bad things i think i don't know i'll leave that one uh up for people to debate but i think i think it's okay like i think a lot of people will enjoy that for sure like it's it's created a lot of buzz people have been playing a lot more than they normally do so it's definitely good also for those that don't have that, that played but that stop really early you can actually once you, when you pre-order and sub you automatically get the expansion rise of the hot cardinal that comes with the whole thing for free so twenty dollars you get the 12 time xp buff that will basically give you a level 55 in one day or half a day really <laughs> and you also get the the uh the grand statue of revan which you can put it in your uh on your one of your pads that you have in one of your strongholds they're increasing the cap from uh, in expansion from uh, in, in inspection in expansion well inspection in the expansion they are raising the cap from 55 to 60. so nothing uh, abnormal here they're adding two planets yavin 4 and rishi which look by the way very very good we're going to talk about it later on i got a lot of pictures and we'll go through that they're also adding uh, the Togruta race, which is, if you remember, uh, Ashera, which is one of the uh, companions for the uh, Set Inquisitor. Like that was one of the races that a lot of people wanted, and I'm I'm pretty surprised that they're going to add this. It's actually a really good uh, move again. Uh, they're also going to add a unique story mission per cl per class. So every class can have a what we call a class quest in the expansion so i think that's also a good move everybody was like oh they're done they're not going to do this anymore it costs too much money 
and it just ticked me off every time. It's like, you know what? That's what they do best. Bioware does story, and I don't care how much it costs. I don't want to fucking hear it. We're paying enough as it is. Give us what we want. We want class story. Give us class story. I don't care about the cost. Don't care. Give us what you said you would deliver. And it doesn't need to be a ton. Like, this is an expansion. At this point, we don't expect as much as we would get from the actual, like, the, the base, the core, right? So, and, and they said, actually, that they were actually going to investigate how that goes, and they might actually add more. They're, they're, they all obviously said they're never going to add as much as they did for the initial, the core, because it was just too much stuff into that one to, to 50 uh, area there. But it's something that looks like they might entertain more and more. And that's also part of what we're going to talk uh, as a whole as, uh, well, the next point anyways. The next point is uh, disciplines. They're adding disciplines, which which basically is going to remove all the trees. So you know how, you know, you have, uh, example, uh, uh, an Inquisitor, right? The Inquisitor becomes, you can pick between Shadow or you can pick between a, a Sorcerer. If you pick between a Sorcerer, then you have three specs, right? You have a Healing spec, you have the Madness DPS spec, which is a Dot kind of spec, and then the, the Lightning spec, which is more like a Caster uh, uh, spec. Right, so those are still going to be there, but then after that, the actual tree is gone. It's going to be completely different and and reworked. And what it's going to allow, which is one of the positive things, in my mind, if it's done right, is they're going to allow tanks to actually be tanks at low level, which is not happening right now. They don't even have a taunt. They have very basic uh, stuff. They can maybe keep aggro on one thing. They have no AOE. Like they're really struggling. Well, they're really struggling. They're not really, they don't feel, it doesn't feel like they're needed really either. Like you could go with just a bunch of DPS in like uh, Black Talon and still win. As long as people are DPSing, you should be fine. But again, it's really annoying for a tank to learn how to tank if he's got nothing to tank with. <laughs> so I think it's really good. And it's especially, it's going to be a lot better to, I think people are kind of neglecting that part, but it's going to be especially a lot more fun for PvPers. Because the tanks in lower in lower uh, lower levels really are horrible. There's not enough like stuff to help them out, uh, and this is definitely going to help. They'll have at least the taunt to get protection points and stuff, and I'm assuming they're going to get the guard and all that stuff as well. So it's going to be a lot easier. The healers hopefully get a couple more things as well because they only have like a, a merc is brutal until he gets the other heals and, and all that. He just He's just casting and get interrupted all the time, so it's really hard to do those things. And I don't think they were meant to be PvPers at the beginning, although they did start it at level 10, so you got to do something, and that's what they're, that's what that's going to achieve for sure. So that's a, definitely a plus towards discipline. The the rest, I'm not sure. All I think really is what the they have said, which is it's going to basically reduce the time it takes for them to basically go from expansion to expansion when they add an expansion it's not going to take as much time going through trees than it is going through what they're doing there it's also going to stop uh, hybrids which they, they are completely uh, they don't they don't like although to me i like that aspect of it i thought uh, that's one thing i really like but they always nerf them so they're like really badly to the point where they're useless like it's not even like a nerf to make them even. It's a nerf to make them completely early useless, and I don't I don't like that. I like the that's the one of the aspects that I really liked about the the trees the, the trees is that you can actually be go outside the box and make something happen out of nothing that the devs thought about, and it happened a couple of times with the dot smash and uh, I know the power the power attacks actually did a lot of things as well where they. They went into deep into uh, the, the DPS trees, whether pyro or advanced prototype, and then they actually were actually using the the cylinder from uh, the tank one because the tank one was still buffing their abilities or damaging, and it also gave them some defenses, which made them a lot harder to kill in PvP. So I understand that aspect. It, it's kind of like cheating the system thing, but I find that if you can't find it yourself then you can kind of i'm i'm fine with nerfing it a little bit to make it a little bit even because you didn't plan on that and some of them were really op but like you gotta i don't know i think i think that would have been nice to keep it that way 
but I also understand that besides that, there's not many choices. Like when you actually make a cookie cutter spec, everything else seems to be pretty much the same. Like you, there's some, there, it almost looks like as, as if like there was, was boxes that were meant to be useless. They didn't want you to pick those, they just made them there and really very little to no one picks them, whether they're PvE or PvP. There's a couple of ones that are situational between PvP and PvE that there is, but there are some that are just never picked. Whether it doesn't matter what you do, you just never pick those. And it, that to me is kind of like almost making making the choice for you, basically. So, so overall, the, the, the disciplines, I guess we'll see once we get more of it. I know there's been a video already released and all that, and it's showing promises of being good, but we'll see. I don't want things simplified either. I, I think I like the fact that the, the Marauder is a class that's hard to play and it has a lot of keys uh, that, that can be uh, played, whether in PvE or PvP. I like that. And I don't want them to start like changing everything so that everybody's like streamlined to, like a, let's say, a standard nine keys and, and that's it. And I just don't want to see that. I want them to actually be really staying open and... And if they're easy, they're easy. And if they're harder because they have more keys, I'm fine with that. But again, if they, they if they start messing with that in the discipline, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Uh, the cost of the expansion is twenty dollars or nineteen ninety nine, which is, in my mind, just a twelve times class XP bonus is worth that. <laughs> I mean, it gives you everything. If you missed the game or you left after launch because everybody else told you it was bad and you still liked it, but because everybody said it was bad, you left now you're back then you're definitely going to get your 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 guys are going to be ready to go actually geared up really if you play at all it's going to basically like i said eight hours you got you got your 55 and then after that it's just gearing them out which takes no time and then you're ready for the expansion and then you can just level with everybody else so again really good on that to the cost really happy a lot of people were kind of hey, it should be a rebate for subs i don't i don't i don't believe in that you know what make it you make a good expansion people will pay for it. You make a crap expansion, people will quit your game. So <laughs> that's pretty much how it works, right? Okay, let's let's go for more of, the, more of this. There's also, they're adding four hard mode flashpoints. And apparently they are basically the four uh, Forge Alliance uh, tactical flashpoints that we got this year. Manon, Corban, Titan, and Rakata Prime. And all those are gonna be redone, well, redone. They're gonna be the same thing, but in a hard mode version. Uh, kind of, I'm happy, okay? I'm happy about this one. I want them to do this more often. I just don't think it should wait for an expansion to be put in there. It should be, it should have been put out at the same time than the fucking, the other, the other version. Both versions at the same time, bang, bang, done. And when you get to the expansion, you release new content, not old stuff that was already released. Although again, I'm happy they do release hard mode versions. I think that was critical for them to do that, to keep pushing the game. And it's not that hard. It's not, don't tell me that it's hard. It's not. It's easier to do that than to restart a flashpoint from scratch. I mean, I mean, it's just so much work, right? Also, they're adding uh, a solo mode to the uh, tactical flashpoints. So, uh, for I, I believe it's only for Forge Alliance for this as well. So, the Manon, Corban, Titan, and Rakana Prime are going to be made into a solo uh, mode. So. To me, I, uh, I've seen already be a lot of people, like gear people can solo these these, these four uh, things. And now they're making a solo mode. To me, I just don't get it. Honestly, I'll, I'll just be blankly obvious there. I just think that people need to fucking get up off their ass and fucking start walking and doing these things. It's all they have to do. Really, like, the tactical requires no tank, no healers. It's just a random group of, it could be 40 DPS. You go in there, you smash their faces, and then that's it. But they can't even get into the flashpoint, which takes little to no time to, to, for the queue to pop. To me, that's, that's a, I mean, they, they try to, we talked about discipline trees where they try to streamline it so it's faster for them to, to get to through when they do the expansions and stuff like that so they can concentrate on other things well if that's what they concentrate on that's a waste of concentration <laughs> that's all that is you concentrate on the wrong things you have to concentrate on the right things and that is definitely not one solo mode big thumbs down from me boo uh, 
Also, what else? There's two new tactical flashpoints that they're releasing. One for sure we know is on Rishi, and that's a good move as well. I, I, I really like that they're doing new things. Every time they do new things, good props, yay! But every time you do something that's already been there, just, ooh, I start getting red in the face. Anyways, also two new operations. One's, one's going to be called the Ravager, and uh, that actually is bringing some good questions. If you look at uh, Wikipedia, there's uh, some information. It's actually a uh, vessel, uh, star, star, starfighter kind of kind of vessel, huge vessel, and it was actually part of a war. I think it was one of the last wars of the Mandalorian Wars. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it was. And the vessel was actually falling apart, was about to get destroyed, and Lord Nihilus actually came by and actually kept it together somehow and then afterwards after the, the wars and all that him and a bunch of uh, force sensitive dudes were actually on board that ship which was not really available but f i guess for jedi that's okay or sets they can live there so i don't know if it's what they're going to use as a possible operation of whatever i don't know what that's going to set up or what it entails but it if it's what they're talking about is because there's good they could be a different things that they're they're calling the ravager but if they're talking about the, sh the the ship then it could be actually something very interesting to see in, in the future uh so yeah that's basically it for the expansion uh the uh, did i forget to talk about something oh yeah that's right i did forget to talk about something what did i forget that's right, the one thing that they completely forgot to talk about which is pvp there is nothing about pvp and I'll, I'll agree with what uh, Red and, uh, and Larry said on uh, The Republic this week, which is if you're going to make an announcement like that for an expansion and you're not going to have PvP, which is just say, let's say that it's just ridiculous to say the least, then don't just say that you did discipline and it's going to change all about PvP. Like... It, everything's going to change no matter what because you're raising the cap you're making new abilities everything's going to change in pvp that way with spells and abilities and rotations and stuff like that don't feed us that bullshit that you basically that's what it was what pvp was all about because that's not right it ain't right again i understand that they're trying to streamline everything make it make everything easier for them and that that will help them again focus somewhere else but don't focus it on solo freaking tactical modes it's just ridiculous Ta focus on the things that are really needed and what was really needed in this time around was the av8 map that you didn't put in the expansion just that don't don't, don't need a 20 billion maps don't need 14 billion flashpoints or an ops pvpers are really easy they just wanted an av8 map that's all they cared about and that would have got you carried through the day and to better things but you didn't do that and it's starting to really get annoying because we have six AV8s, I believe, if I count it like quickly there. Like I think there's six. And some would debate that that Question Ball is really the same as the other one. It's just a different layout of the map, but the same objective. They want different objective, different things, right? And don't come up and say what, what, uh, what, that's, that's the thing that makes me laugh, right? They come in and say, oh, yes, we're going to uh give us some feedback on what you would like for, for pvp battlegrounds and stuff like that that's already been given for weeks and months since the game start you're just not looking at what's there or you just ignore it or you just don't want it or whatever it is i don't care but there's plenty of good ideas in there you just decide to do, ignore all of them and if you don't like the ideas you got look at all the other mmos because every other MMO does the same freaking thing. They look at everybody else and they copy what they do or slightly tweak it to their, like, wow is so good at it. They basically slightly tweak a couple things from everybody else and then they make it their own a little bit and then boom, good to go. But if you don't do that, then you end up with what you just did there, which is you can't do that. You just cannot put no content for PvP. It's just really bad. I'm going to leave it as that because obviously it gets me really uh, cranked up I don't PvP a ton, but I do PvP, and it really pisses me off with these guys that stayed through the years, now three years, of this, and basically little to no content for an expansion, in this case no content, is not acceptable. So, again, a lot of good pluses and a lot of things that I'm looking up forward to, but, uh, but that one thing that a lot of people are going to remember is that you let PvP down, and that ain't right. Make it right, Bioware. Make it where. Make make it right, EA. <laughs>
can't say one without the other, right? So again, uh, looking forward to the expansion, and I hope you guys will be there, and uh, see you then.